first story is titled, Am I the a-hole for telling my stepsister how her mom and my dad started their relationship? I'm 23 and have a 16-year-old stepsister. My dad and her mom's relationship started as an affair when my mom was very sick. My mom found out and was heartbroken the last two months of her life. At the time, my stepsister was very young, so she never knew the details. She always thought that they started dating after my mom died, while my dad was grieving. I didn't realize that she thought this, and this past weekend while home for Thanksgiving, we were talking, and she mentioned something about how it must have been when they started dating while my dad was still grieving. I was shocked that she didn't know the truth, and I told her that's not actually what happened. When she found out, she was extremely shocked and went on to tell my dad and her mom that she lost a ton of respect for them. My dad is pissed at me and was telling me how it was none of my or her business and I was meddling for no reason. In hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have said anything but truthfully, I didn't really think about it. I was just like, oh no, that's not what happened at all, when I told her. While I admit I was pissed at my dad at the time, I've since moved on for the most part. Though, to be honest, I'll never think the same of him, and that'll never change, but he's my only parent left, so I don't want to totally lose him. My stepmom is also pissed at me because her daughter's perception of her has changed so much, but I only told the truth. My girlfriend thinks I didn't do anything wrong, though it would have been better if I didn't say anything at all. I feel conflicted, though. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. They are responsible for their actions, and if their daughter thinks less of them now, it's a direct result of their lying to her in the first place. You maybe could have taken a moment to speak to them before telling her, but they brought the situation upon themselves. You maybe could have taken a moment to speak to them before telling her. Actually, I think that would be worse. As it is, Opie reacted in a moment of shock to their stepsister's misunderstanding. It wasn't premeditated. The only thing that would have happened if Opie excused themselves from the conversation to go talk to their parents first would be that they talked Opie out of it or Opie would give them an ultimatum. Your daughter seems to think you got together after mom died. You need to tell her the truth or I will. There's no way that would have gone down well. Not they all though. If they didn't want their daughter to lose respect for them, then they shouldn't have done something so morally reprehensible. Not they all. Sorry if the truth embarrasses him, but maybe he should have thought of that before abandoning his dying wife. Right? Cheaters don't get to be mad that people find out that they're cheaters. Not they hole. First of all, it absolutely is your business. He cheated with your stepmom on your mother who was sick and dying. You absolutely get to have an opinion here. Second, the only reason they would get this angry about it is if they knew what they did was wrong. You did nothing wrong and had no ill intent. All of their discomfort is self-created. You echoed my thoughts. That was nearly exactly what I was going to say. Also, I think his dad and his wife are extremely lucky that Opie forgave them. I know for a fact I never would, if I knew the last few months of my mother's life was made all the worse by such a betrayal. Not day hole. Now for the next story. Am I day hole for having my stepdad walk me down the aisle? So, my biological father has never been super present in my life, only really showing up for the big events like graduation, etc. Even when I turned 18, I tried to have a sit down with him and ask why he was never there and told him how it made me feel and he was just super apathetic about the situation. He kept saying he didn't want to talk about it and he didn't think he should make excuses. It's life and crap happens. So, I was just kind of like, whatever, and let it go. We never really had a relationship from there, with him still occasionally popping in on a birthday here and there. Fast forward to last year, at my wedding, I had my stepdad, who has been in my life since I was two years old and raised me as his own, walk me down the aisle. I didn't even really want to invite my biological dad, but his parents insisted that I should. He came to me after the wedding and said that it kind of hurt his feelings and that I'm his daughter so he should have been given the opportunity to give me away in marriage. My response was, you gave me away when I was two, and you allowed another man to raise me, which he didn't take very lightly. He just stormed out of the ceremony, and I haven't seen him since. We haven't spoken at all since then, but shortly after the wedding, I found out I was pregnant, and he spent my whole pregnancy in the first month of my son's life posting to Facebook about how excited he is to be a grandpa. 
telling everyone about his amazing grandson and all of his Facebook friends were congratulating him. But he still has yet to even offer to meet my son, let alone buy him even a pair of socks. His parents, my grandparents that I absolutely adore and are actually close to, have come to visit a few times and bought him some things. This whole fake grandpa thing really upset me, so I called him out on it and it cost quite a steer. Now his twin sister, my horrible aunt, just came back from living in London and is only now finding out that I'm married and didn't let my bio dad walk me down the aisle and made a whole post on Facebook about the situation. Her and some other family members are trying to make me feel bad about not having him walk me down the aisle and is now claiming I won't let him meet my son. I got really annoyed and blocked all of them. But now I'm not so sure. Am I the whole here? Now for the top comments. You gave me away when I was two and you allowed another man to raise me. Literally the perfect response. Your dad is a douche. Do not let him or anyone else feel bad about your decision. He made a choice to screw off and not be there for you throughout your life, so he can live with it. And if he wants to make up BS about you not letting him meet your son, let him. The people who matter know the truth, not they whole. Blocking them may be harsh, but if that's what you had to do, then so be it. They need to grow up. How do you let a grown man get away with essentially abandoning his daughter and then side with him when he cries about not being involved? His sister keeps arguing that he's seen how he is with his kids, my sister and brother he had with other women. Apparently, he was a really good dad to them. And she insists I need to stop saying he's a bad dad for that reason. I'm just like... And some family members are now claiming that it's not all his fault that he wasn't there for me, because my mom moved me three hours away and things happen that I'll never understand, and my mom is at fault too, etc. Imagine the pain of your stepdad to see you walking down the aisle with your bio father after all these years of him being there for you, raise you, pay for your school and health, support you and play with you. Just because your bio father once upon a time conceived you. Nah, OP, not a day hole. Actions have consequences, full stop. Yeah, I talked to my stepdad about it, and he's about ready to fight my bio dad because it feels like he and his family are bullying me and whatnot. Still trying to talk him out of it. Not day hall. He's trying to do the same thing to your son as he did to you, a good parent slash grandparent only for show. He may have his personal issues, but he should understand that his actions have consequences. And it's not like you did this out of spite. You did this to honor the man who you feel played the largest part in raising you. There's a phrase, you can't have your cake and eat it. As for the blocking, that may be fine for now, but it's best not to burn bridges in the long run. He could still put effort into being a granddad, but of course, to have any chance of that, you need some method of communication. I only block them on Facebook. I'm usually a pretty private person, so I didn't like that they just decided to put all of that on there like that. They all still have my number, though. The next story is titled, Am I the a-hole for telling my sister she shouldn't be surprised that her baby daddy sucks? I was told about this subreddit and created an account just to post this. Please use your judgment to tell me if I should apologize or not, slash if I am an a-hole. My sister had a baby about six months ago. Since then, the baby daddy has not really stepped up at all. They apparently are still together, but went from seeing her five to six days a week to maybe once a week. He doesn't buy anything for the baby. He does nothing. She constantly complains and is turning super bitter to the situation. She calls me every day and does nothing but talk about her crap baby daddy. I ask her multiple times to give me updates on other parts of her life, but she will say one thing and then somehow tie it back to her baby daddy. Yesterday, she goes on a tangent about how she never would have had a baby if she knew she was going to be alone. I got irritated and asked how she didn't see this coming. She then says, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I say, he has three other baby mothers, works a slightly above minimum wage job, doesn't have reliable transportation. His other baby mothers have said that that doesn't do crap for their babies, and there is no way three women are all lying. She says, he told me otherwise. I had no reason to believe. He said this was for the long run. I say, well, it looks like he is taking a long run away from his responsibilities. I love you, but you're bitter. He is responsible for his kid, but it's no surprise what's going on. The sooner you realize you're a single mom and take his butt to court for child support, the better off you'll be. 
She then cursed me out and hung up on me. She is no longer speaking to me and no longer having me babysit her baby. My mom is mad at me for pissing my sister off and now having to babysit more. She agrees that I spoke facts, though. Now for the top comments. Not a hole. The man already had three kids from three different women? He's a serial deadbeat dead. Your sister was a dummy, and now she's learned the hard way. Someone had to tell her the facts so she can understand her actual situation and not the one he lied to her about, so she can take next steps. You don't want to keep hearing about the consequences that you knew would happen. I guess it's hard for the sister to see it, but Opie's just talking some sense, not they haul. The sooner you realize you're a single mom and take his ass to court for child support, the better off you'll be. Wish more siblings said such reasonable things to wake someone up from their delusions. Not they haul. Well done, she needed to hear it. She might hate you now, but if she does the right thing, by God's will everybody else have a better life. Including the kid. Dude works minimum wage and has four supports to pay. She's going to be getting like $20 a month. Not they haul. Honestly, it was harsh, but it was what she clearly needed to hear. She stuck tied to that idiot for 18 years because she thought she would be different. That those other three women were all lying and she was somehow freaking special. She should have never let that man boy in her life and maybe, just maybe she'll accept what you're telling her much sooner than the years it takes sometimes. Good luck. Edit. Just a quick FYI. I was in the situation and guess who raised her big sister's two teenagers? Yeah, me. After I had to take them after my mom died because my sister gave up on parenting after about a year and three months. I'm sorry that happened to you. Was there a way you prevented becoming bitter? I just want her to be happy. She can't change the situation about the baby, but I'm hoping she can get some empowerment for moving on. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for telling my mom it's not my fault my sister doesn't have a dad? This is a little bit messy, but bear with me, please. I, 17 female, have a sister, 14 female. We have different dads. Our mom isn't with either of them and, no shame towards her, doesn't have any contact information or even a surname for my sister's dad. This is important information. Today, I borrowed 5 euro off my sister to pay for something for school because mom couldn't afford it. She's still on the PUP. My sister casually mentioned it to my mom after school before I got home, and my mom rang me saying, get the F home now. I get home and my mom started shouting at me. I kinda let her shout for a while until she got to, you get so much more than what your sister does. Your dad sends you 50 euro on the 10th of each month. Why could you have used that? I tried explaining that I used literally all of my money, even what I had saved on Christmas this year, so I didn't have it and what I needed for school had to be paid for today, and that I couldn't just wait until the 10th, and I do have every intention of paying her back. Note my mom buys an awful lot more for my sister to compensate, and I usually give my sister some money each month. She went off saying how I was ungrateful, and how it's not fair in my sister that my dad does stuff for me, but she doesn't have a dad to do stuff for her. She eventually said that she was going to tell him to stop sending me money every month. This annoyed me. She barely talks to my dad and doesn't pay for much for me outside of food. I got angry and said, It's not my fault you slept with a stranger from a pub raw 15 years ago and never got a phone number from him and left the room. Mom's not talking to me now. My older sister, 22 female, also a different dad. Hers is dead and she got the same treatment when he was alive. Says mom had it coming. But my younger sister says I should have just stood there and taken the yelling. Am I the hole? Now for the top comments. Not they haul. She's off her rocker. Your sister helped you and so you'll return the favor. Also, no, it's 100% not your fault she like it raw. Likes it raw, with different guys, and apparently isn't taking care properly of her daughters. Not they haul. It's no one's fault but your mom's for doing it without protection. You guys are doing the best you can, and you had every intention to pay your sister back. While I think you shouldn't have said that in front of your sister, I don't feel sympathy for your mom. Not an a-hole. Your mom's reaction to you borrowing 5 euro from your sister was very odd. Also, her attempt at overcompensating at your sister's lack of dad involves being cruel and unfair towards you and your older sister. This is not okay. I'm sorry you have to deal with all this. 
While your comment was harsh, albeit amusing from a reader's perspective, it only came after you had to listen to a stream of abuse. Don't dish out what you can't take. Frankly, it sounds like your comment was a long time coming. Maybe it will prompt your mom to wake up. And that's the end of this video, folks. As always, leave a comment and hit like and subscribe. And if you want more of this content, turn your notification on to get updated on the latest videos. And I'll catch you with the next one. Stay safe.